You know what it is. It's the king himself. Since 93 Sports. Like, comment, subscribe. Alright, Since 93 Sports. Back with another one. I wanted to get my thoughts on what I feel should happen with the whole Louis Ortiz, Deontay Water situation. As we all know, Louis Ortiz failed a drug test by Vada. Um, they were drugs that are found in high blood pressure medicine. And Louis Ortiz stated that he has a prescription for the medicine. Um, and he says that um, basically he has doctors that can vouch for it. You know, we had the whole controversy with, you know, why would he not tell Vada, you know, and all that. I've got into that in my previous video. But I, what I really want to focus on is, um, you know, I just want to say that I hope the fight does happen. You know, even though we know, you know, Louis Ortiz is most likely a dirty fighter, you know, and, you know, the playing field isn't per se, you know, even. But, you know, I feel like Wada needs Ortiz on his resume so bad that, you know, he and his team just got to overlook that and just, you know, go in there and say, hey, you know, it is what it is, you know, go ahead and, you know, clear this fight. You know, he needs to be pleading with the WBC to not, you know, um, cancel this, you know, title fight. You know, Wilder really needs this name on his resume. And, you know, I heard Eddie Hearn, he came out and, you know, was condemning Louis Ortiz for the, the failed drug test and all that. And he's only saying that because he doesn't want Wilder to have Louis Ortiz on his resume because he's thinking to the future like, hey, you know, eventually, you know, we're going to be in negotiations and, you know, he'll have, you know, that much more bargaining power, you know, with Louis Ortiz on his resume, you know, so, you know, that, that's one thing you got to look into, you know, and um, I really got to do a video on all these top competitors that's not on Vada, you know, Anthony Joshua not on Vada, you know, so who knows, Anthony Joshua could, could you know, drop a, a, a drug test and, you know, Eddie Hearn would look like a hypocrite, you know, because I'm sure he wouldn't say, you know, Anthony Joshua should be banned if Anthony Joshua fails a drug test, that's his fighter, you know what I'm saying, so I think there's a little bit bitterness there from Louis Ortiz leaving him and going, you know, to the Al Heyman side, but... You know, that is what it is, but, you know, like I said, man, either way, man, everybody in the LDBC, the YTBC, and basically any fan of Deontay Wilder needs to be pushing for this fight, you know, no matter what. You know, he failed a drug test, you know, whatever. He, you know, he got to get in the ring with this guy. You know, it's, he has to have this on his resume, I and mean, we talking about legacy and legitimacy. You know, that's what we was going to get with this fight, you know. Um, Wilder's whole championship reign, you know, can be validated with this fight, you know, because we know the skills are there. I feel like, you know, he definitely can beat Ortiz, you know, whether he's enhanced or not, you know. So that's that's all I wanted to get my point across. Everybody needs to be pushing for this fight no matter what, you know. We know he's a cheater, whatever. You know, that makes the win, you know, that much greater, you know, when he knocks him the fuck out. So, you know, that's my thoughts since 93 Sports, and I'm out.